This video is an introduction to my new dance production which I'm producing entitled Body of Light. I'm at the first stage which is the R&D stage. I'm doing it in a very unique setting this R&D stage which is the Princess Elizabeth Hospital in Guernsey. I'm collaborating with a local digital artist called Marcel Lenormand and what we're doing is we're using the Microsoft Connect sensor with a projector and connected to a computer to explore dance and light and it's all very exciting. My role has been to bring together the technology, uh, the hardware and the software. Uh, we're using the Microsoft Connect sensor and, and that delivers uh, two distinct sets of data. One is a video image which is created by an infrared camera so that it even works in total darkness and the other is skeletal data that describes how uh, the body is positioned within three-dimensional space. So we can either generate imagery based on the shape of the dancer, um, fluid effects and smoky kind of effects, um, or we can control the effect based on the position of the dancer within the stage area um, by attaching the control of effects to, for example, the torso. Or we can attach effects um, to the limbs, uh, most commonly to the hands, uh, so that you can perhaps generate particles and ribbons controlled uh, by the position of the hands, which leaves the dancer a lot of freedom of expression. Um, while they move within the space. My main inspiration for this piece was a piece I had seen on YouTube by a German artist called Prince Mio and he used the Kinect in a really beautiful and creative way. So I wanted to see could I do this and develop it into a piece that had my own unique stamp on it. We're using a, a second-hand uh, Kinect sensor. We're using a budget projector and a Mac laptop running Quartz Composer, which is free software created by Apple. There's a bit of technicals involved, but it's not super complicated. And what this means is that pretty much anybody can play with this stuff and use it in whatever way they like. One of the really kind of unique things about the Kinect sensor is that it senses in 3D, three dimensions. And all the work that I was seeing was very 2D. So the work was kind of a dancer against a wall, working on an X axis or either up and down, which is a Y axis. One of the first things we did was like, right, let's try and make it a bit more three dimensional and give it a bit more space for the dancer to move so it's not pinned against the wall. So we really explored the Z axis, which would be the forward and back. I've been inspired by Ryan Holiday's TED Talk about mixing music based on your GPS location. He was using Central Park. Um, so we've just scaled that concept down to the stage and we're using X, Y and Z coordinates to mix musical tracks in real time uh, based on the dancer's position. We've seen this sort of thing done where uh, for example, DJs might attach uh, an audio effect to the position of a hand, like this. Which is great, but if you're attaching that to a dancer, it's a great limitation of their freedom of movement if they've got to dance with a limb in a particular position. So we're attaching 
uh, visual effects to the torso of the dancer. One of my main aims with this piece was the democratisation of the technology and not to sound pretentious, what that means is that it's affordable. Lots of people have been exploring the Kinect in a very high-end and expensive way. A German company used it to map three different worlds to create an environment at the cost of a million pounds. And also Nine Inch Nails have just explored the technology in their recent show in Tokyo. So it's all very high-end and spendy. But what we have got here is a very portable, very cost-effective package. So the Kinect is a second-hand Kinect. The laptops are Mac and the projector is under £500. Sharing a working space at the Princess Elizabeth Hospital has meant that we've been able to connect with some potential users of this system and thus we were invited to trial with a group of adults who have learning disabilities. To say the evening was a great success would be an understatement. They loved playing with the visual effects which react in real time to their movements, however small. Even wheelchair users with limited arm mobility reveled in the experience. It's so intuitive, no one needs instructions on how to use it. Children and adults alike are simply drawn into moving. Phase two of the Body of Light project is taking place in Manchester, England, uh, where we'll be drawing together all of these creative and technical ingredients um, and adding a broader creative team to build the touring show. Accessibility for me and Marcel is really important. We want this show to be portable and we want as many people to be able to see it as possible. So watch this space. You've lost your contact lens. It's contemporary dance, Marcel, that's where it is.